do wash your butt. I don't want to smell your butt when you come in. If you're getting any lower extremities tattooed and, uh, it, and that's thigh down, knee down, wash your butt, wash your feet. I don't want to smell your feet when I'm tattooing your legs. Uh, a lot of people like to take their shoes off and get comfy and that's when a lot of scents come out, a lot of foul odors. So wash yourself, you can't express that enough. Wash yourself. I don't mind if you bring your friends as long as we're not uh, crowding the area, you know what I mean? One or two friends can be okay, but when you start to bring five or six friends back with you, especially for something small, you know, you, you can be a distraction, you know, you might not get the best result out of that. So I'm the worst when it comes to money. I feel like I don't charge what I should sometimes. Don't haggle. Nobody likes a haggler. Nobody likes, uh, you know, somebody trying to get something for cheap because you're gonna get something cheap in return. If I give you a price or if your, your artist gives you a price, uh, they're probably giving you the best deal they can give you at the time. So there's no reason to, you know, taint the water. Do tip your artist. It just shows appreciation. It can be anything. There's not a specific number that you have to stick to. It uh, generally, most people will tip anywhere from 15 to 20%, but that's not standard across the board. Anything, like I said, shows appreciation. I don't think you have to tip if your tattoo is already very expensive. That's just my personal opinion. I think you're spending a lot of money on already. I don't think tips should be um, expected. You know, they're always appreciated, but never expected. So I'm gonna be showing you photos of your old tattoos, and I wanna know your thoughts now, hindsight is 2020, what do you think of your old work? Yeah, boy, this is on my buddy Cody, Wu-Tang Forever. Me and a bunch of other people have the same exact one. Uh, my buddy Max, at the time, just taught me to gray wash outline around yellows. So I just learned that trick in this tattoo, and uh, it worked really well. So you have one on you? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Biggie. Uh, I like this one a lot. This was one of my favorites for years. Uh, I used it on my business cards and things like that. It was uh, on another a good client of mine, Marty. This one was cool. I like this one a lot. Uh, she came in and she said she just wanted to line down her back. And uh, you know, at the time, this was also eight years ago. At the time, I just thought it was, uh, you know, the weirdest and coolest thing. I, I didn't know if she was serious, but uh, you know, we put it on and um, I think stenciling was probably harder than actual tattooing to get something like that so straight, you know, and then if we messed it up a little bit, we had to redo it again. So I, I, I remember trying to do it a handful of times. I smoke weed every day. Don't come in drunk. Don't come in uh, fucked up on drugs. Weed's not a drug. I don't mind if people come in high uh, from weed. It's not a problem. It's when people come in drunk, uh, you know, coked up, zannied out, things like that, that I don't, I don't want to deal with you as a person. Uh, but yeah, I'm 420 friendly. Oh, I like that little guy. I loved him. I did this, well, maybe six years ago, um, back when I was doing a lot more color. Uh, this was on my friend Katie. Oh, and Rainbow. I liked this one a lot too. This is when I was first getting into color realism and my buddy Matt let me uh, tattoo this on him. Shit. 10 years ago, something like that, nine years ago. This is my cat, Bruce. He's so talented, more talented than me. Wait till his tail stops. That's what we know, he's so cute. He's so cute. Comes the yawn, wait for it. <laughs> All right. I think face tattoos are, are A-OK -okay. in my book. I have no problems with them. I don't think you should get a face tattoo if you're 18 years old, 19 years old, 20 years old. I think you're still a baby, and I think you should give it some time before you really um, do that to yourself and before you jump into that deep end. Don't get a face tattoo if you're not fairly covered everywhere else uh, because they are a big commitment, and if you're not tattooed very much, I feel like you might not realize how big of a commitment it is until it's already there, and. You know, now what can you do? Somebody mentioned, uh, they mentioned getting one on their face and I was pretty shocked. I'm all about doing it. Like I said, if you got tattoos elsewhere, I'm all for it. That would be killer. If anyone wants a micro portrait on their face, of their face, <laughs> you let me know. Don't touch your tattoo when they're healing. Of, uh, of course. I like to use a second skin bandage, so you can't touch it. Uh, your fingers can't touch it. Um, it's pretty dummy proof. Don't use any heavy scented lotions when the bandage comes off. If you use heavy scented lotions, there's usually a perfume or alcohol in there. It'll burn and irritate it and not cause it to heal the best. Don't pick at your tattoo when the bandage comes off. That will cause ink to come out and we can tell as artists if you've picked your tattoo or if it's just had a bad heal. So when you come in and you say your tattoo didn't heal right, 
we can tell that you picked it. So keep your grubby fingers off it. Imagine that, you know, someone brought this tattoo to you. What would you say to them? Oh, I tell them to get the fuck out of the shop. I mean, you can't be in here. Fuck, that's so bad. Uh, that could be, okay, so infections happen a lot of ways. It, something got in there obviously something got in his foot the skin could have been chewed too much which allowed something to get in there easier or the person just didn't take care of it um, you can tell with that big gnarly yellowy green area that's where the infection started and it kind of spread out from there yeah that had to kill to walk jesus christ they took a chunk out of their skin that's so disgusting it's like cottage cheese in there oh lord what do you think that was a rose I I, yeah, like they're proud of it, right? <laughs> oh my god, what is this, a stab wound? What is happening to these people? That literally looks like a stab wound. The best way to make an appointment with me is through email. You would go on my website and you would fill out a questionnaire form on there and then you'll be in contact with my assistant. Uh, email is always the best way. I'm not a fan of in-person consultations because a lot of the time if I have a consultation, I'll forget what we've talked about uh, come the time of the appointment and I'll have to refresh my memory anyway. So I kind of just think it's a waste of time. I know a lot of people like to feel out their artist and get, uh, and, you know, and get a feel for them before they start to work with them. But again, it's just we're going to reiterate the same thing come the day of the appointment. We're going to go over the same exact thing, so I feel like we're just wasting time. If I have to have a consultation while I have an appointment, then you're going to be taking up my appointment's time, and nobody likes that. So usually I don't do any consultations, I just do everything online. I have a 48-hour cancellation notice. If you get a hold of me uh, ahead of that time, I can reschedule and you won't lose your deposit. Of course, if it's within that 48-hour window, your deposit will be forfeited, and that's only because I have to now either find someone to fill that spot or I lose out on that day's worth of work. So that's what a deposit is for. Show up for your appointments. Um, don't ask for your deposit back. Chances are the artist isn't gonna give it to you. I suggest getting your tattoos that you want to cover up lasered at least uh, one or two sessions to kind of lighten it up. It'll make it a whole lot easier for the artist to cover that up. Don't trust anybody with a cover-up. Make sure you've seen their work and what they can do with a cover-up before you just jump in and have anybody do it because you're gonna end up with a worse tattoo than you started with. I promise. <laughs>